Hi, so I, I'm doing this video so I can remember uh, this experience and hopefully it'll also help others who have to go through the same thing. Um, so first of all, I tore my ACL by playing soccer. I play on the weekends and one day I was just running during a game. I planted my leg wrong and I felt my knee pop out and pop back in and just heard popping. And as soon as I went down, I grabbed my face and just said, I'm, this is gonna put me out for a year. Sure enough, uh, several weeks later when I got my MRI results back, it was confirmed that I had an 80% tear to my ACL as well as a tear to my medial meniscus. Um, Post-surgery, the, post the surgeon also shared that my lateral meniscus, which I have this sort of deformed meniscus called a discoid meniscus, um, he had to shave that down, down as well. So a lot going on there. Um, for surgery, uh, they told me not to eat anything the day before, or I meant the night before. Um, I actually didn't eat dinner, and so the last thing I ate was lunch. Um, I was a little bit nervous for surgery, but the next morning I went to the hospital. They had me dress in a gown, put on some socks, put my hair in a hairnet, and remove all jewelry. Uh, the nurse gave me some Tylenol as well as some other drug that was like Tylenol. I don't remember the name. They uh, placed the IV and then uh, injected some sort of calming drug. Again, not sure of the name. Uh, then they immediately wheeled me into the operating room. I remember just laying there and asking some questions and then I was out. Uh, after surgery, I woke up pretty quickly. I was quite groggy. Uh, and in pain. Uh, they, I don't know why, but I agreed to the narcotic that they injected via the IV. Uh, pretty quickly I felt really sick. Um, and uh, when my husband came to pick me up, I was throwing up in the car. So thankfully I had asked for vomit bags. And when I arrived home, uh, I was also throwing up a lot. Um, I was actually kind of surprised how much I was throwing up because I hadn't e eaten anything um, for 24 hours at that point. Um, but I guess all those IV fluids that was pumped through my system was, you know, gave me all those fluids. Um, I lay down in bed and um, pretty much just hung out in bed for the rest of the evening. Um, pain was high. Uh, I didn't take any more pain meds. I was. I, I felt more sick and just gross, um, continued throwing up as well. Um, that was more of the feeling I was dealing with that first day. I was able to go to the restroom on my own um, without the aid of any crutches or anything. Uh, I put weight on my leg and I was able to hobble, hobble to the restroom. Um, and it wasn't until I like reached down to scratch around my brace that I realized the nerve blocking um, the nerve blocking drug that they injected to the front part of my knee was still working. Um, so today is day two. Um, this morning at about 24 hours after surgery, the, that nerve blocking drug started wearing off. Um, the numbness was starting to go away and the pain was really starting to kick in. So I started feeling really miserable starting this morning. The pain is really, really high. Um, in addition to that, my, my lower back hurts a lot um, just because of the position I have to sleep in when I'm lying down. I try to shift a little bit, but it's difficult um, to sleep in any other position than just lying straight on your back. Um, the pain that I feel the most is where they drilled right through my bone to insert the screws and um, also the areas where they drilled to insert the graft. Surprisingly, the area that they grafted from, which was my quadricep muscle, the tendon there, doesn't hurt as much. Um, it's my bone that is just not happy. I could just feel that pain, that throbbing pain. Um, I did end up taking extra strength Tylenol this morning. Again, I have this huge aversion to um, narcotics. Um, I'm trying to avoid taking uh, what they prescribe me, which is Norco, which is hydrocortone and acetaminophen, and um, 
Zofran for to manage the nausea. Um, they also prescribed me 800 milligrams of ibuprofen, but the surgeon recommended I don't take that until next week. I don't recall the details of why, but I'm just going to go ahead and follow his recommendation from what I remember. And um, the only other thing I'm taking right now is the as baby aspirin, uh, 81 milligrams to help prevent blood clots. Um, so basically, I'm just taking extra strength Tylenol. I'm due to take um, another dose really soon. I can't say how much it's actually helping, um, but what is really helping is the ice machine that they gave. Um, it helps soothe the pain, um, but again, any movement today, it's just super painful. Um, going to the restroom is really, it's just so much harder today just because, just because everything hurts so much more now that the numbness has worn off. Um, I'll give you a quick look at my brace my leg situation this is where the ice machine connects to the pad that's wrapped around my knee my leg is a little bit swollen but not too much um, and uh, I don't know uh, I think I can tough out this next uh, day and and tomorrow my friends who have had ACL surgery have shared that the first several days the first couple days um, are the hardest and I feel like I'm writing out the the toughest part I don't know why I'm trying to do it this way but I feel like I can um, as someone who gave birth natural birth twice without pain meds um, because that's how I wanted to give birth um, I feel like I can maybe tough out the pain with this as well I don't know um, we'll see how I hold up tomorrow but um it's been, uh, yeah, a day and a half, and uh, I'll check in again. Hopefully I have time to make another video. I've got a toddler running around who wants my attention, and so things have been a little bit difficult, but manageable. Thanks.